what I want to demonstrate here is connecting your Google Colab notebook to GitHub to directly use sort of sample data. If you're learning a concept, it's really helpful to go through in that notebook cell by cell experience um, and go ahead and play around with concepts. Now, what may be a bit more complex is if you're following along with the tutorial, um, it's a bit harder to get that data if it's not listed within the description. So what we can do is actually by using Google Colab, we can connect directly to a GitHub repository. And a really useful place I want to show you here is actually um, by the user Will Corson um, within his data analysis um, space here. We've got in the about section, it's data science using Python. And there's several good examples that I can just show you to highlight. Again, I have no affiliation with, with Will. I just came across this and thought it was quite useful. Um, so if we go into the Plotly folder here, there is this one here, military data, um, and it's a Python notebook format here, so that should work. And we can see when this expands, um, essentially this is what we're going to get, the introduction, explore the military data from the data world, interest in size of military relative to the country or active members. So this is a bit of um, analysis using Python um, and Plotly. So, uh, yeah, we, we can eventually move on to visualizations and things. So this would be a great example of why you may want to follow along um, just to reduce the amount of time spent typing when you're looking over core concepts. So what you want to do here is just make a note of the URL at the top um, and copy and paste that because we'll need that to connect it to um, Google Colab within the next section. So do that now. If you're watching this tutorial, there's a large chance that you've used Google Collaboratory before or Google Colab. Um, if you haven't to access this, you can just go to colab.research.google.com or within your whatever search function within whichever browser you use, you can just type in Google Colab or Google Collaboratory. Now, Google Colab is very good because it's essentially built on top of Jupyter Notebooks. It gives you that rich notebook experience for Python, but you can use it in the web. So it's very easy in that there's no installation steps to follow. Um, so it's very beginner friendly. Now, when you come to Google Collaboratory, your screen may look slightly different from mine. I've just got some previous notebooks that I was working on, but you can see within the splash screen here that we're greeted with in the center, it gives you an option to connect up here to GitHub. So if we click there, and what we can do is we can actually just enter a GitHub URL, which is why we copy and pasted in the first half of the tutorial, or search by organization or user. So I can click here, press Control V, paste in, and you can see it will then load the repository, and it gives us the root, which is um, well course in data analysis, which is what we were looking for, and our first option is plotly military data dot ipynb and that will load up the python notebook and as you can see we get all of the results and we can begin to initialize our notebook we get a warning because it's from an external source but we can go ahead now and start to actually action this so this would be very helpful if we were you know working on a new topic we know the foundations of Python, for example, or the foundations of what's being discussed. And then we can go ahead and we can actually begin to, to play around with um, specific concepts or specific examples, modify things. We can, we got pandas data frames here. Uh, we don't have pandas installed here, but for example, we can go in and just modify things so we could, import pandas as pd there we go that should work now if we want to run this data frame that is referencing another file so that wouldn't actually work but we can uh, yeah we can play around we can change things about uh, we can expedite our learning and it's a really cool feature within Google Colab and one cool feature of many. So if you like this tutorial, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share and check out some of my other data coding 
and more in-depth automation tutorials. Thank you.